This is Jupiter Today for the 31st of January, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant 2, heading west. Europa is also in quadrant 2, heading west. Ganymede starts the day in Quadrant 1, heading east, and Callisto spends all day in Quadrant 4, heading east. 6 hours UTC, EO is still in Quadrant 2, heading west, but near its transit. By 12 hours UTC, EO has successfully transited, and w- as well as Europa. And Ganymede still barely in quadrant one, heading east, coming up on its eastern elongation. And by 18 hours UTC, EO has just passed its western elongation and is now in quadrant four, heading east. Europa is now firmly in quadrant three, heading west. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is firmly in quadrant four, heading east, and Europa is still in quadrant three, heading west, moving towards its western elongation, and Callisto is getting close to moving behind Jupiter. And now the Apogeove and Perigeove plots. This, the y-axis here is the distance in kilometers, in this case between Io and Jupiter, and this is the time. And as you can see, Io is going to be moving through a perigeove today, and that happens at 458 UTC, at a distance of 420,011 kilometers. And Europa is going to be moving through an apogee today at 4.22 UTC at a distance of 677,147.1 kilometers. Ganymede is moving towards Jupiter all day today, and Callisto is moving away from Jupiter all day today. And I also have the new orbital ribbons to show. So these are the same orbits of Io and Europa and Ganymede and Callisto today. And here's Jupiter, the little black dot. And it's all I've done is that at the same times, I have joined these two points. And it makes a little surface that curves and makes interesting patterns. So here's the ribbon between Io and Europa, and Io and Ganymede. You can see there's a twist in that one. And Io and Callisto, another twist. And then the other combinations, Europa and Ganymede. Europa and Callisto. And Ganymede and Callisto. And combining them all into one, it makes for a rather interesting pattern. Okay, there were eight Jupiter satellite events today. At 6.29, the shadow of Io ingresses. 6.39, the transit of Io begins. At 8.47, the shadow of Io egresses. 8.56, the transit of Io ends. Then the same pattern is repeated for Europa. 9.05, Europa's shadow ingresses. 9.24 UTC, Europa's transit begins. At 12 o'clock UTC, the shadow of Europa egresses. And at 12.19, the transit of Europa ends. There are three 
satellite mutual events today. First goes from 1931 to 1940 UTC when Europa eclipses EO. This is an 8.7 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.538 magnitudes. And EO is 108.77 arc seconds from Jupiter. That's a nice distance. But Europa and EO are only 3.1 arc seconds apart. Still, that would make a fantastic photographic image or doing some photometry. And as you can see on the Google Earth plot, this point here is the location on the Earth where Jupiter will be at the zenith at the time of the event. And as you can see, all of Asia will be able to see it. A lot of Europe will be able to see it. Some of Africa, half of Africa, and maybe some of Australia down here too. Next event happens just a few minutes later from 1948 to 1955 and that's when Europa is going to occult EO. It's a 7.2 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.322 magnitudes and again it's a nice distance from Jupiter, a good photometric uh, possibility here at 107.76 arc seconds from Jupiter. And again here's the Google Earth view showing what part of the planet Earth will be able to see this. All of Asia, looks like all of Europe, most of Africa. And the third satellite mutual event today goes from 21 hours UTC to 2108 when Europa eclipses Callisto. It's an 8.1 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.137. And Callisto is 137.46 arc seconds from Jupiter. And Europa and Callisto are 14.91 arc seconds apart. The visibility of this is all of Europe, quite a bit of Asia, most of Africa. Okay, 24 hours of a Jupiter sky. We're standing on the equator of Jupiter at a longitude of zero degrees and over the course of 24 hours Jupiter rotates a couple of times there's EO passing in front of Europa and there goes the shadows and transits of EO and there goes Europa There's always something happening in the Jupiter sky, along with the four primary large moons, there are dozens of smaller moons. Some of them are shown here. great to actually witness these events as opposed to simulated events maybe someday okay the red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today the first at 733 and the second at 1729 UTC there were no new images but there was some new radio data from the 30th of January and there were no new papers position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere today at 0 hours UTC is a right ascension of 9 hours 24 minutes 11.8 seconds and a declination of positive 16 degrees 14 minutes 31 seconds. The angular separation from the Sun as seen from Earth is 172.189 degrees and that's 1.138 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. And the phase angle gets smaller and smaller every day as we move towards opposition on the 6th of February. 
Today the phase angle is 1.437 degrees, and that's 0 0.208 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter is 651,117,530 kilometers, and that's 320,049 kilometers less than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 13,335.38 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,953.04 kilometers per hour less than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun continues to get larger and larger very slowly. Today it's 779,375,922 kilometers, and that's 46,648 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Earth, Jupiter and the Sun, of 1,943.67 kilometers per hour, and that's 2.63 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1 117.88 degrees, CM2 184.46 degrees, CM3 91.19 degrees. The time of this recording is 129 UTC on the 31st of January 2015. So please subscribe and thank you for subscribing can send your comments and questions and suggestions for improvements to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.